from Force 13 HQ, this is June the 11th, 2017. Here's your Tropical Weather Bulletin. Sunday morning, June the 11th. Hello, we've got three Invest active and at least one of them could become a cyclone very soon. Invest 92E has a 20% chance by the National Hurricane Centre in the next two days, uh, 40% chance in the next five days, and we've got the two Invest in the Eastern Hemisphere, 96B, which is very close to the northern coast of the Bay of Bengal, and 96W, which is going to be our focus for tonight, 25 miles per hour, 1,007 millibars at 15.6 north, around 116 degrees east, no warnings in effect. Um, it's just cleared the Philippines and it's in the South China Sea and most models are predicting that this will become a tropical storm and will move towards the north. Models seem to be pretty clear in where it's going to go um, in that actual direction but its intensity remains unknown really. It could become a typhoon as some models were suggesting or it could fizzle out entirely just as soon as it makes landfall in China as a weak tropical storm according to the GFS model which is what you've just seen there. Um, but HWRF says that will recurve out to sea and possibly become a typhoon. Uh, in the Atlantic, not much going on, but you can see the Eastern Pacific system there, uh, which has a 20% chance. Lots of activity going on in that particular area right now, isn't there? Or has been, even though they've been very weak storms. In the Eastern Pacific proper, uh, you can see there very little going on. It's a lot of light cloud cover. Um, and just towards the far southwest there, way south of Hawaii, there's a little bit of convection, uh, but really nothing in the way of activity out in the open east pack. So the Western Pacific, we're giving it a 70% chance, Invest 96W, looking pretty good, hasn't been named by the Philippines, and I believe it's moving out of their area now, um, but it's going to move towards the North JMA. Last I saw, still didn't have it on their scope either, but that could change at any time. Just in case we get a system in the Australia and South Pacific, it can happen in June. Uh, there it is right now, but not much going on there. Looks like an extra tropical cyclone possibly off the western coast. And the Indian Ocean, you can see that system there. 30% chance we're giving 96B, though the, though the Indian Meteorological Department say that chances are nil, which I found pretty interesting, saying ruling out any development at all. Sea surface temperatures look like this. The East Pacific fairly warm, 26 degrees plus, 28 in the main area there. The Atlantic, Caribbean warming up nicely, particularly in the west and the southern Gulf and near the Bahamas as well, uh, really warming up there. Um, over to the Indian Ocean, you can see very warm waters in the Indian Ocean, which is why I wouldn't put it past 96 b forming. And over in the South China Sea, pretty warm waters there as well. Not Never going to be an issue for a developing cyclone. So here's Invest 92E, the one we're giving a close-up of in this video, the floater. You can see its movement, not too much rotation going on in this one yet, uh, but you can certainly see some large amounts of convection and they are giving it a 40% chance in the next five days. Um, and I'm guessing it's going to be continuing in its general motion towards the northwest, probably going to be one of those that hooks the coast of Mexico for a while uh, and possibly then moving out to sea, but we'll wait and see, could also move inland. Um, but it's a, going to be a pretty broad system if it does get its act together and of course we'll be watching it. The next name's Calvin. This is the totals so far for 2017. We're now up to 15 tropical storms, 3 category 1s, 1 category 2, 2 category 3s, 1 4 and 1 5 and the 2 depressions as well. 23 storms of tropical storm intensity so far, still quite a way off the numbers, and we're not really making much progress either. Believe it or not, it's now the quietest start in terms of accumulated cyclone energy, ACE, since 1954, which I think is rather remarkable, and it looks like we're set for a near record quiet season, certainly in the satellite era. But things can change quickly, and we'll have to see on that one. So the next name in the Atlantic, should we get one anytime soon, is Brett. In the East Pacific, as I said, Calvin, then Dora. In the Central Pacific, uh, if we find a storm there, it could happen. Uh, certainly, we are giving it a significant chance of happening. Walaka is next up there. Murbok in the Western Pacific, that seems almost imminent, almost guaranteed. Oki in the North Indian Ocean, should 96B develop. That's the beginning of list 7 as we enter uh, the next list there. And over in the Southern Hemisphere, just in case we get any new storms, it's Hilda in the Australian region, Yavakil in the Southwest Indian Ocean, and Fahey in Fiji.
You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.co.uk at your service at any time with its tracker. You can also find us on YouTube, search Force 13 if you're not there already. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find us on Facebook and on Twitter, search Force 13 all in text to find us on there. You can also add Fool13 on Skype, that's F O O L 1 3 and an extension 9094 on Discord for tropical weather chat. <laughs>